heavy, hit me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. Guys, every day you learn new things on this social media, especially YouTube. And I have been so silent on an issue that I saw pop up when our brother Mara went to the States. And I was like, you know what? I don't understand what this thing means. So I'm going to be very patient until I exactly gather information to understand what a passport bro is. <laughs> Guys, this world is crazy. And shout out to one of the reactors, A.M. Carol. You made me understand exactly what a passport bro is. And again, I will put it here that you did a great analysis on explaining to me what being a passport bro is. So now guys, I'm going to be leaving her name of her YouTube channel right on your screen. If you want to know more, please go there because she also shared videos of your own Kenyan brother Mara doing very weird things back in Colombia some years back. And that is why he says Colombia is his favorite country yet. So now I'm putting one and one together right now and actually I can see a two. When Mara landed in the US, <clears throat> sorry Ivan did ask him bro are you still a passport bro and what did he say he's a passport bro for life so guys I actually didn't know that sex tourism is something maybe I'm behind news but I've known all that today <laughs> like right now during this period when everyone was talking about being a passport bro I will not sit here and apologize for not knowing what a passport bro is but I have an idea right now and I have an idea why Mara keeps talking about this villa of his being a sex house something close to that you know many people actually may think that Mara is mad at some point but actually take note of what people talk about when I had him talk about telling his visitors to come to the one month party in his villa with condoms because it's going to be a sex party a whole month long, I actually thought that probably he's just kidding or, you know, just saying, saying things out of the blue. Why would a man come on camera and talk of things like this? Having sex in the bamboos sex everywhere in that compound free range sex they get kids and form this cult that thing is still disgusting to me and for him back in the years like am carol did share a video that he did i think three years ago while he was in colombia <laughs> and this guy is asking ladies to kiss each other in front of him and he is recording then he turns over and smooches these girls like his life depends on it again all this on camera and that video actually got age restricted by youtube like he said so it was much more than what we saw in the clean edit that he put out yet again like are you mad so now i understand why sultan was telling him bro you needed to have respected Priya's decision and culture and her opinion on not wanting to be on camera openly with you because you keep posting these women and Priya has an image and a job to protect. And Mara's anger about Priya is that first she called him <laughs> a travel buddy and second she didn't give up the cookie and that thing destroyed him. So her now coming to eventually call this guy, you know, a travel buddy. In his mind, he knew he was not going to get it. 
he was not going to get this prayers cookie at any point in life and that is when he cut everything short and chased prayer away i want to give a shout out to prayer for seeing things as they are and being woman enough to respect herself because i can imagine how this Mara would have actually tainted her image right on his YouTube channel. Then everyone else in the world would have known what they were doing, what this nonsense he keeps running to Colombia to do with these girls who are vulnerable. Guys, if you go back to his videos, those ones in Colombia, you will be so surprised. <laughs> you will be surprised and understand that this guy is not promoting anything positive from Africa to the world. At least that is how I saw it. That's why again, guys, I'm telling you things are not coming together. That's why when he landed, you know, I actually thought this was just man talk, but now this whole issue of passport broism is actually trying to make everything come together. This guy travels the world for sex tourism. Now, when he landed, he actually again said that he is a passport bro for life. Reaching America like this and when he was in that car with Sultan Ivan and this cousin of Ivan. The first question is women. Then the next point is I don't have a girlfriend yet, but there's a woman right here in America who's been disturbing me on my inbox. I want to call her up and we hook up. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to really understand this Mara right now. And what he is been saying and what we have, what I have actually been overlooking in many of his statements, everything he says makes perfect sense. I understand now why he named his villa Madeline or Madeline. I know the Colombians pronounce it differently, but as a Kenyan, that is how I pronounce it. I now understand why this villa was named that name and why he built this villa and the purpose of this villa and him showcasing it every single day to the world. Like A.M. Carroll said, this villa is to attract these girls from these other countries. When he goes out, he has to speak about this villa. Why was he telling these immigration officers about his villa? So now he has a reason to get more women because these women in these countries are vulnerable. And that's why he spoke of not having interest in looking for a woman from the US. Because once he does whatever he does with these other girls, this woman will turn around and say that he raped her. He said all these things in this video on landing in the US. Everything I'm saying here is not made up. Guys, if you listen carefully, you will know that I speak from what has been said. <laughs> Whoa, right. I'm still trying to digest this whole story, guys. It's, it's making sense. I went to bed and I was like, wow, now I understand. Now I can put one and one and one and one and one together and I can see a 10. It's really sad. In my opinion, this is really sad. I don't know what he, he is trying to promote. I don't know why he'd want to subject these women in these countries to doing stupid things on camera and I don't understand why it does not bother him that he is putting this out to the world. You know, back then he used to get like probably 8K views, 10,000 views, but this particular video that he did 
where he was telling these girls to do these weird things on camera got about 1.3 million views it was sad to watch for me it was like you know who is this man who is marwa exactly so he leaves kenya for sex tourism in these countries because these women are very very vulnerable and he knows where to target them in the clubs when they are drunk when they can do anything again all this on camera all this for the world to see our very own village boy going out there to preach what africa is to the world is busy embarrassing africa yet again so now that's besides the point if you want the whole full drama on what passport bros are again i'll leave this name right here on your screen am carol she did a perfect wonderful job trying to explain and break down and analyze the whole of this story you can go there and see the clip she's put there for mara with these girls and she's trying to explain and Carol, you're not alone. I'm actually with you. This is the first time I'm trying to understand what passport bros are and I am doing my own research and what I have read so far is shocking. <laughs> Thank you so much for that video, Carol. And also our brother, King of Travel, did do this video with Cleo Bonnie. You guys can go and listen to what these people are saying if you don't know what passport brosing is at. It will actually open your eyes on what people are doing out here. I'm still in shock. I'm shook. I'm shooketh. Right, so now let's put that aside, okay? Whoa, this, <laughs> I didn't think I'd go 14, over 10 minutes talking about this story because this video was actually to talk about something totally different on what Mara has been uh, doing right in the States and comparing it to how he does host his own people, visitors, back in his village, Nyabohansi. <laughs> so now, I've talked on the past videos that I uploaded about how this guy is actually a poor boy in the US and a millionaire right here in his own village. Now, I was trying to look at how he's been treating people like Ponte, and how people like Marianne, who he's been hosting as well as Christmas list, also did, you know, appreciate him when he hosted them back in the village in Yabohansen. Now, I was actually to do this video today before I bumped into this Passport Bro story. And one person, Calvin Mochache, hi Calvin, thank you so much for writing to me and doing this post. And I remember I told you that I was going to be doing this video today. And Kevin says, when visitors come to Mara's house, they shop for him goats, cows, etc, etc, etc. When Mara is a visitor at someone else's house, they shop for him. <laughs> I wonder if they gave Sultan a tip for staying at his home like how Christmas list did when he was at Mara's home. Mara did say he came to the US with 10,000 US dollars and he has more money coming in. At least that will help Sultan pay a bill in what Mara calls the big bubble. He actually said the big bubble instead of the big apple. I was like, oh, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> I wonder when Mara will start shopping for someone else. He is so stingy. He leaves light but weight heavy on his subscribers' pockets. Now, guys, you remember when uh, Michele Ponte was at his home and when he'd gotten out and now these people were having beef and abusing him left, right, center. Mara said that this guy is so poor, D. Mongo jumped in and said he can't even afford to buy her underwear. And they laughed at him for having malaria and faking malaria and being so lazy and only having 150 US dollars in his pockets. Mara, how much money do you have in the US right now? Can we convert that? Let's see how much that will last you if you decided to go 
put yourself in a hotel. So why is it that you point fingers and right now in the US, Sultan is shopping for you everything. Ivan is shopping for you everything. You are in that store saying, I want this and this and this. I want ugali flour, I want maize. He took six maize and you put another additional one just in case you want beans, you want what. You're complaining left, right, center. And you're talking about the US food, American food is not, does not agree, does not go well with your body. And yet we're pointing fingers at Michele Ponte for eating ugali sukuma every single day. David Jr. did say you're a different person on camera and a different person off camera. But I'm looking at this story, I'm just trying to relate. Why were you laughing so loudly at your brother Michele Ponte? And right now you can't even afford to buy bread that is worth $4 in the US just to appreciate your host with. You see, guys, we don't need to laugh at people. Why do we laugh at someone else? Because we feel like we can just laugh at them and we feel like we are above them. Michele Ponte even bought you a goat. Christmas list bought you a goat. What have you bought your hosts in this same US that you are in? Other than just carry your camera, wanting to know how much everything has cost, you're even asking Ivan how much the shopping he did for the house and your items included cost. And you get shocked that he spent $80. You are being hosted for free. These guys are buying you what you want, what you eat, because they understand you don't like American food. Michele Ponte did the same thing, complained about the food he was trying to eat in that village of yours every single day until it was unbearable. And yet you pointed fingers at him and you didn't take him for shopping so that he can get his pasta and his cheese and whatever he likes. Now here in America, you're being done for all these things, Mara. And yet when you come back to your village, you mistreat your visitors. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> it's so hard to understand you, Mara, at times. Like, yeah, and I know people are here like, oh, why do you talk about Mara all the time? You guys, can't you see these questions? Can't you ask questions regarding what you are seeing? And in case there are very many people right here talking positive things about this same Mara, what are you doing here? Hmm? If my content is giving you bile that will cause you cancer, <laughs> shout out to Mara. <laughs> if my content is giving you bile that will cause you to die of cancer and these bad, bad sadness diseases, what are you doing in my YouTube channel? Why are you watching this video? The Lazy Gang appreciates the kind of work that reactors do and that is why we do these things. They could be 60 in the whole world, but why do you all just come feed and fix yourself in this content only to stress yourself? Why do you give yourselves belly aches? <laughs> Guys! So I always pick lessons from this and if you don't see those lessons, then unfortunately you do not belong to the lazy guy. The lazy gun says it as it is. Reactors will say it as it is. Whoa! Okay! I don't want to make this video so long because I can also see we are heading to 20 minutes. <laughs> but there's a lot to talk about. Now Mara did say that he's leaving the village, he's running away to America. Let's see what the reactors will talk about. We can't miss anything to talk about. We saw you enter a shop where you buy your boots. I'm sure the prices shocked you. That's why you came out pretending that there's loud music in this shop. I can't take you around and look at boots and show you the prices. It's not a must for you to play music when you're showing us that. Mute the music. You also are looking at jackets in the same store. 
and you saw a jacket worth 40 uh worth 40,000 Kenya shillings that's 400 US dollars and such like prices and you ran out of that store real quick and you actually said that you are planning to change this blue jacket Marwa change this blue jacket just change it for Christ's sake you've had it for two years now or plus and you pretend you don't listen to what reactors talk about you do listen change your boots change this jacket that you wear every now and then at least do that for yourself I know you talked about changing your boots finally and changing your jacket finally Mara please at least do that <laughs> for me at least do that for me all right guys i think i'll have to stop this video right now because i don't want to be so long thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed please feel free to subscribe and i will catch you in my next video remember i want to read your comments down below on whatever i have said if you have more information about passport bros please leave a comment enlighten me at least like carol said we want to know what this thing is exactly and also if you think Mara is being stingy to his visitors when they come visit uh, visit him in Yabohanse, I'd also love to know because he's living like a king. He's living his life in America because his hosts are actually taking care of him 100%. He's not lacking anything. In this shopping, he also said that he bought, uh, we saw him buy maize and beans and he was going to prepare Gideri for these guys. I'm really waiting to see that video. And eventually, I hope that he stops complaining about things in America. He actually also has agreed that he is complaining. That's why he has to start every sentence with, guys, I don't want this to sound like I'm, uh, I'm, I'm complaining, but that's already a complaint. Why do you complain? When you go to Rome, do what the Romans do. At least Michaela Ponte did what he was supposed to do in the village until it was unbearable. Only sickness kicked him out and he was already tired with whatever lifestyle this was, but he tried. At least your hosts, Mara, are considerate of you. They know you love fruits and they're giving you time to choose your own fruits. Bananas, limes, lemons, ginger, garlics, ugali flour. And the list goes on and on and on. Guys, <laughs> let me stop talking. I will catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.